What's up? This is Jeff. Welcome to Jeff's podcast. And before the start of the show, I would like to give a minute of silence to a fellow cosplayer, Mr. Day Alwik Banal, who passed away last July 25th due to labor cancer at the age of 29, which is now turning 30 this December. He's a fellow cosplayer, a friend, and showing his dedication to becoming a warrior himself. He's one of the good people in the cosplay community. To all these family and friends, Wekwesat in Pase. Let's give a minute of silence for a fellow cosplayer. Thank you for your support. It's Friday then. It's Saturday, Sunday. What? It's Friday then. It's Saturday, Sunday. What? Yeah, it's okay. What's up? This is Jeff. Welcome to Jeff's podcast. And today, we're going back in time to SM Mega Trade Hall at SM Mega Mall where the Otaku Expo Reload takes place last August 6th to 7th of 2016. The Otaku Expo Reload is the second event organized by the OSIN team, where the first event is held every month of January to February, which is the start of the first anime convention held after the Manila Hobbies and Collectibles Convention takes place as the first toy collectible convention of 2016 organized by Hobbyworks. The Otaku Expo Reload is organized by the OSIN team, after the success of OSIN Fest 2016 held at the SMX Convention Center at SM Mall of Asia in Pasay since April 2016, where the event is moving after staying at Mega Trade Hall at SM Mega Mall in Mandaluyong because of the implementation of crowd control for the visitors and featuring guest cosplayers and musical performance by J Music Artist Flo, where the band made their first visit to the Philippines for the first time. So I'm going to visit the event and it is a two-day event so I attended day one for the event, while on day two, I was heading to Pandagan, Manila to visit my grandmother's house. I attend the first day of the Otaku Expo Reload, and it is really quiet than usual because of the weather while my parents are at Makati because of the grocery shopping, so I decided to take a snapshot photos around the convention. And everything is crowded, ranging from long lines at the ticket booth outside the mega trade to crowded places inside the hall. But the one thing I looked up is the tarp, and these tarps will be auctioned. I looked up around the convention, and I found this one is the Ram and Ram tarp from Tapping Nagatsuki's Re Zero, starting life in another world. Okay. ReZero, Starting Life in Another World is one of the most popular animated series created by Nagatsuki, and it's becoming a huge hit for light novel fans, centers on Hikikomori Subaru Natsuki, who suddenly finds himself transported to another world on his way home from the convenience store and encounters Emilia, a candidate to become the next ruler of the kingdom of Lugunika, only to revive some hours in the past, after dying sometimes, Subaru realized that he has the power to turn back time after his death. After successfully helping Emilia, Subaru starts living in her house as a butler. Out of gratitude and affection for Emilia, Subaru makes use of his newfound ability to protect her and help on her ambition to be successfully appointed as the next queen. Also providing assistance to other friends he makes along the way while suffering due to the pain inflicted on him every time he dies 
and carrying along with the memories of everything that happened before his power activates, which is forgotten by everybody except for him. The Ramed Rem tribe will be auctioned off in the second day of the convention. In the meantime, the first day of the convention will hold other events, such as the singing contest, and also I took some photos around the convention, ranging from cosplayer guests to merchandise. On the second day of the event, the tarp auction has just begun and fans are battling to determine the highest price tag for the auction and they should bring it at home. Anime PH reports that the cost of the Ram and Ram tarp at the Otaku Expo Reloads tarp auction segment receives a price tag. The cost for the tarp at the auction is 9,500 Philippine pesos or the cost is about 189 US dollars if you're in the US or 20,879 yen if you're in Japan. The tarp has been surpassed by the previous record holders where they hold a segment organized by the Ozin team, including the Ozin Fest where the Hestia tarp costs about 5,000 pesos or 10,965 yen or 99 US dollars. The video has been recorded by Facebook user Stephen Mark Baltasar who recorded the cost for the auction Better listen or watch the video about this controversial segment at the event. Oh! Hello! Hello! Mukhang mahihirapan ako. Mukhang masakit sa bulsa to ha. Hello. Sa tulad pang pagpaano Ray Zero Kara Hajime Ruiz Sekai Sekat. So guys, the next star police is Alright. Ray Zero Kara Hajime Ruiz Sekat. Kumo na sa mga ano, price wait lang, sige. Starting price 100 increments of 100, 200 pesos. Okay yan? 5 500 yes. One thousand! Oh! 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 Isang libo! Sino ba? Isang libo! Magkano? One, one? One thousand! One thousand! O pa nga, si Kuya ulit sa libo to! One five! One five! One thousand five hundred! Sige, 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 sige! O, sige pang lalaban! Sige pang lalaban! One five! 1,500. Mukhang dito. Oh, meron pong isa. Kuya, magkano? 1,600. 1,600. 2,000. 2,000! Oh! Talak pa na. 2,000 pesos. Going once. What up, teka? Kuya, magkano? Two thousand one hundred. Two thousand Two thousand Two thousand Yes! Yes! My life is my wife. Going once. Go on. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get Going one! Magkali record? 
escort na po ito sa stage. Maraming salamat. Dito, dito, dito tayo. Dito tayo. Oh, guys, guys, tumayo tayo. Pakiingatan. Darian, Darian. Darian, pakita mo uli yung tarpaulit. Yung tarpaulit na 9-5. Ito yung 9-5. Tandaan mo ha. Pwede niyo ba siya? Ah, yung nakapit ng 9-5, nasaan? Ayan na, ayan na. Tabi ka sa projector. Trophy! <laughs> yeah, tabi, tabi dyan. Tapos picture na nyo. Palakpakan! Palakpakan! 9-5! Grabe ito. Okay! Moving on! Upo po yung mga hindi kailangan na tayo dahil mabibigay po tayo. Guys, balik po tayo dito sa gitna kung saan pwede, pwede po tayo umupo at marami pong pwesto. Pwede mo poan. Okay, yung 9-5, yung labas, dito. Ay, dito na lang po yung sa 9-5. Next, Parpolin! The Otaku Espo Willow Tarp Austin is one of the most controversial segments in an anime convention. At 9,500 Philippine pesos is really expensive. It's expensive than a person can be going to buy some groceries, your tuition fee from college, or ANEDA or National Economic and Development Authority under Secretary Ms. Rosemary Edilian said that a family of five can live with an income of 10,000 pesos a month. Even the cosplay community has got mixed reactions about the type. A war machine cosplayer from Marvel's Iron Man said about the news on auction and told me, what's the news on auction? And I told myself, the cost for RAM and web type is 9,500 pesos. And then he replied, said, what? Everyone around the internet has mixed reactions about selling a tarp at the auction. Most people thought that this is insane expensive for a fan. There's also an issue found on the Otaku Expo Reload that the tarp is actually a stolen art that came from Pixie Views of Tomato, which is from Japan, as they received their complaint from the organizer itself. The Otaku Expo and the OSIN staff received an apology from the fans for stealing art and sell it to an auction. So both parties have signed their agreement and never to steal art for the auction. I think it is better to support local artists rather than stealing or copying. It's been five years since the Otaku Expo reload issue, and the OSIN organizers decided to change their plans, including the rules for the TARP auction. I think it would be better to support local artists and build a TARP instead, rather than stealing art came from the internet, such as Google Images or Pixim. I felt like I was watching AMD's Storage Wars show that features the bidding voice segment, and everyone is watching popcorn to determine who's the highest and bring the souvenir home. It's go big or go home. What is your memorable moment at Otaku Expo Reload 2016? Let us know in the comments. Follow Jeff11 Manchester on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and subscribe on YouTube at youtube.com slash Well, that's about it for Jeff's podcast. This is Jeff. We'll see you in the next podcast.